What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing something we rarely ever do. We are running shooting starfruit in a rose deck. Now it seems like a very high risk, high reward uh, card to be playing at 5. The stats of it are ridiculously small, but the upside is it can do 10 damage. There's no way to buff it with Rose. Usually you run this with Green Shadows. You can use Mega Girl cards like Onion Ring to buff the shooting Starfruit. So the idea of this deck is there's going to be two ways of making your Starfruit actually work and not get removed by literally every Bungie Plumber Rolling Stone, every little removal card that they have in the game. The first is to ramp to it. And uh, they're going to be less likely to sort of leave over that little one extra brain in order to deal with a starfruit. Let's say if you play, you know, Twin Sunflower on turn two, very often they're just going to try to contest the Twin Sunflower on turn three. And you'll be able to starfruit and actually get away with it. The other thing that we're doing, uh, and this is an idea I actually got from a viewer. We'll see if I actually have his name written down for the credit. But the idea is, is that you have a lot of cards that absorb the opponent's small removal. Um, like Twin Sunflower, if they have any Rolling Stones, they're going to start using it on these early game cards. So these early game cards are both to ramp, they're also to control in the meantime, but they're also, again, any Rolling Stone, Bungie, Plumber, Nibble, all the cards that are really you know cheap cards that answer Starfruit, hopefully will be out of their hand by the time you play your shooting Starfruit. Uh, because we have like just a ton of must answer small cards. Uh, for the late game, we're going to be running Brain Nano, which again, if they don't remove the Starfruit to turn its play, the Brain Nano will come in and activate it again. Because again, the main way you're going to be able to deal with Starfruit, not by putting a minion in front of it, obviously, it's still doing 8 damage in the other lanes. But it will be by removing it with tricks. So Brain Nano is important, Cobb Cannon, very strong card. I was going to run Astricado as the other 5 drop. You definitely need a lot of late game in this sort of ramp deck that you're ramping up and gaining extra sun every single turn. Um, Astricado does a ton of damage, which sort of synergizes with Starfruit. You can finish off opponents quickly. It's also huge synergy with Brain Nano that makes that strike through happen again, or makes the Astricado pit um, turn into a new Astricado on turn 7 if you play with Brain Nano. The chat convinced me to run Bird of Paradise. And this could end up opening up some really cool possibilities with superpowers. The notable superpowers I'm thinking of right now are going to be Time to Shine would be amazing to conjure with Starfruit because it's a 10 damage Time to Shine, really cool. Even like cards like Root Wall to protect your, uh, or like Citron Super, just cards that would protect your Starfruit from getting damaged could be good. There's probably other combos I'm not thinking of, so let me know in the comment section below what you would like, what super weird superpower combo you think would be good with Starfruit. Let's see how this deck does. I'm going to be keeping an eye on if the burb is good enough. I can always switch that to Astracado. Other thing I'm going to keep an eye on is, does the deck actually have enough late game? It could be something like Dragon Fruit, just to have a more solid way of finishing off opponents would be good. Honestly, the Starfruit is... You know, we're not, not running like Allosaurus, which doesn't finish off opponents, it just gets a ton of value. So, since we're running more aggressive 5 drops, another reason we need Astricado. Um, since we're running like really aggressive 5 drops, I, I guess you really don't need that as much late game, because you have more capability of finishing off opponents. This is an interesting play. I'll go for the, uh, the Primal first, because I can actually play the Lima and the... Twin Sunflower next turn if this lifts. There's Neptuna Super. I guess even like Embiggen, yeah, Embiggen would be good with Starfruit. Just thinking of combos of superpowers. Blazing Bark, obviously. Turn Starfruit into a 6 2. <laughs> so it does 30 damage? Bruh. Wow, so the opponent just spams Toxic Waste to him. I have a really good feeling. I have a good feeling about this. Uh, we're definitely gonna let the primal die and keep the twin sunflower around. And uh, I, I wonder if even keeping the lima plurid on instead of playing in five, just to play it in four, if that would have been good. Let's see if the opponent does another play where they just spam small minions. That would be obviously the best case scenario. So we're successfully ramping to turn three. Starfruit, and it is gonna work. Now, he's gonna draw a card, but this has to be worth it, right? It's not only is this protected, I mean, this is doing 8 damage right now. But it'll also kill this for free next turn, theoretically. That's a pretty damn good Starfruit. So right off the bat, 
game one. Sorry, I know I forgot to do bets. Let's do uh, eight games today and we'll make it a six out of eight day. So you think this deck will win six out of eight games, but yes. Five out of eight is going to be an over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fram up. You think the opponent has weed spray? Should I play around it? Is that ridiculous? Uh, this always happens. Question is, I'll, I'll commit one Lima. I mean, if he has weed spray, he has it, you know? He just says Rolling Stone. It's okay. He's not gonna draw a card. The Twin Sunflower, unless he has a way to buff the Gladiator, actually lives here. Okay. It's fine. Maybe we'll block the three damage card draw coming in. That's alright. Even this 3-3 three, three hitting his face at this point, I guess it's just killing the Gladiator. We really need another light game card here. What a big Ain't it. Hopefully he plays a big minion. And we're able to, I don't know. Value from go to flat. We definitely don't need the ramp anymore. I wonder if I should be going face though. 4 3 2 kind of wins. We're not going to be doing well in a long game. How do we make this play? I mean, we're doing plenty of damage anyway. Alright, let's do the smart thing. Which is going to be, keep the Lima on alive, which, because we don't really need ramp anymore. I'll go to fly this so it dies for free. Uh, it means we're not blocking this turn, but it's okay. Uh, he'll end up with an empty board, we end up with a full board. And he'll have, basically, five health left. I think this is good. Uh, yeah, it's all about top decking like in cards right now. Everything from, yeah, it's perfect. We didn't keep our removal around, but hopefully the cop cannon will be the equalizer here. Just gonna spam that. Nothing Neptuna can do about it. It can block and get, you know, blow, but otherwise we should have him here. Neptuna Super's already used, so yeah, the <laughs> Frenzy Superpower does nothing. That's the last one Neptuna has. Blow, Frenzy. Super. Incorrect? I don't know why. Hell yeah. Alright, we are 1 0. Uh, great first game. I think the Starfruit was decent. It ended up dying to a Rolling Stone, which is sad. It's a little awkward when the opponent throws and start, doesn't play around Twin Sunflower. Honestly, I think committing both of your brains on turn two, unless you're running Swashbuckler, I mean, something insane value. Committing both of your brains on turn two into a Rose who can just play Twin... Any solar hero can just play Twin Sunflower. Kind of throwing. Uh, should I keep both of these? Alright. Looks good to me. We kind of want him to pass. It's just so awkward, man. <laughs> um... I guess I'll just lie on I don't know. <laughs> CEO of Poland. I love that name. Here we go. So, another awkward situation. We could take all of this damage. It's a sports deck. I think the twin committing it right now is going to be really good. And Starfruit can clear these for free after taking up another bunch of damage. This should be fine. I mean, if he just commits another big minion here, like a cosmic sports star or a mascot, I think he just loses on the spot. Well, well he'll be doing a lot of damage here. Bring us down to eight. But... See, I, I'm a little worried about committing, but I could have weed spray. I guess playing less into weed spray is probably better here. I, I don't know about the star for now. There's never going to be a point of having this later. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's running terrifying. Did not have weed spray. Okay. Yeah. 
Did I equally play into weed spray by committing the twin sunflower on it? Um, so Cobb just this dies for free, so I guess just Cobb in one. Looks good. And we're still ramping like hell. This is doing one damage now. It'll die for free to the second Cobb can. This is just a guy spamming sports. Picking pool shark sports with Ross Bolt's a good idea. It's not. Disclaimer! Very low tier deck here. No sign of Burb, I was about to say, but now it comes up. Of course, he's been summoned. <laughs> so I'll see, if he plays a big sports card, it's Cobb Cannon. Almost everything else is just going to be Burb. If he plays a series of small cards, there's that. That's not a big card. I think we just Burb here. Burb them up. Burb them down. It's fine. Uh, so unless he gets Zombot from Portal Technician, we should be pretty good in this game here. Please don't get something stupid like Mechasaur. Fireworks is fine. That's good. Then actually kill, <laughs> kill his own card and kill anything on our side. So, nerf that, but we still get the superpower, so. We're taking a lot of resources off of this guy. We actually have a superpower plus a play here, which is cool. We also have a way of getting a trillion sports card. I have a way of getting some uh, some juice in our deck here. That, that's gotta be Cobb Cannon, right? So it's gonna be, we'll do this first. Definitely not gonna bring that out here. So Cobb Cannon remove the 3-3, keep a 6-1 alive. 6-1's really good against Rust Bolt. Is there a play? Is there a... <laughs> Maybe we'll try to do this next turn, but in the meantime, I feel like ruining this man's day. Is there a reason to go face here? Not really, I'll just keep the tempo. 6-1 is good against Rust Bolt, because unless he gets another random Firework Zombie, he can't really deal one damage. 6-1 just requires, you know, a big card. Like that, you know, that gives me a lot of opportunities to chat up this game. That is okay. Uh, still don't have this because we killed our ramp, but we have a friendly magic bean stocks right now. And Citron Super, that's nice. <laughs> I guess we just commit the star fruit, right? With Citron Super. And we'll do the cheese next turn. Let's do this first, why not? This looks really good. More stuff. <laughs> so many magic bean stuff. <laughs> oh, the man's got rodeo. GG. Rodeo's gonna save him. He's gonna move the star. Uh, he's gonna. Uh, well, we're protected, so they didn't do anything. Yeah, that's good. GG. We didn't get to see the buff star fruit though. We got Beta Caratina Superpower, Light Speed Ugly. Conjured Grape Power would have made this into a 4 4. Oh well. Baldur's Gate 3 man. Special. La la la. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of Starfruit. I think two ramp cards is pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna commit one on turn one. There's just too many bungees and summonings and backup dancers that kill this. Now that that's gone. Playing both of these... First of all, ramps to bird on turn three. It just makes it less likely for him to be able to deal with both. Wow, and this guy decides to... I don't know, man. Cosmic Scientist on turn two just says, Okay! You can do whatever you want to me now, plants. Do whatever you want. Two ramp cards, twin sunflower, just just an aggro car. Rotobega doesn't do clean four damage that turn. I'd rather ramp. It's just not. It's not a good card. At least if you're playing, you know, cyborg on turn two. At least that is like gonna control what they play. But not today. 
they'll have to spend three to remove this for rocket science. I guess Fruitcake could too. But... There's that. But the, these superpowers now. These superpowers are just going to be out of control. You got a 3 2 from that, nice. There we go. Backup dancers. So here comes these superpowers. They're going to just take over the game. Cow cannon, love it. What's in the box? Heal. Not great. Starfruit's interesting. I guess Starfruit in two. It also keeps us alive, which sets up Cow Cannon. There isn't really a good place to play the Roto Vega, so I'm just gonna Starfruit. Pretty good. The main threat on the board here is actually the bird. So he's just got two things. There's the Bungie. Ah, Starfruit being sad, but it's okay. Okay, now we. No, oh, we don't even have Cow. Oh, we do have Cow this turn. Oh, spam cup. We also have heals. They also get an extra. We have so much heals. Extra superpower. I oh, should have saved the. Oh, we don't even have it because all of our ramp died. Let's move that. Uh, Rotobiga Protect looks pretty good. And also Freeze. We can cob to keep the Rotobig alive. I think let's start spending some of this now. I'm gonna freeze here. I'll commit the protect. That's cool. I'm gonna also use the heal since we have extra sun here and we don't have a lot of prospects of like needing this heal. Only his wind condition is bursting us down, so let's just keep our health up. We're going to be committing 6 on usually next turn for the Cobb Cannon. We are protected! So that dies for free. Getting more superpowers now. We really could just catch a mechanic and use a superpower too. Uh, superpower sucks. Cobb in 1 looks awfully good though. Is he setting up a Bad Moon Rising? It kind of seems like it, isn't it? Uh, this really plays around Bad Moon Rising because it means this teleportation zombie. And one of these needs to basically turn into a zombie. No! He's under Bad Moon Rising, that's awesome. Superpowers will save him? Probably not. <laughs> Look at the bird though! Heal, okay. So we're doing six, usually proccing the block with our two. He decides to not do the card draw. I don't know why. Why would you not do that to your teleportation zombie? You're drawing a card. You need every card you could get for us. Not a good encrypt. Not good at all. There's a barrel, okay. Yeah, we just win four, five. So we're three you know. Have the star fruits been good? <laughs> they keep getting bungeed, it's so sad. I don't know. Grota win 4 would have been lethal. I should have been more aggressive with the Roto Vega since he only had 4 L. Well, he had, we would have had 4 at the end of that turn. I guess you're right. I'm just paranoid of him having a lot of damage. I don't know. If that teleportation zombie had been a binary stars, I don't remember the turn, but I don't know. I was feeling too paranoid. Yeah, I don't even know about this ramp anymore because well we'll ramp it to something eventually. Alright, this is fine. I don't have anything to ramp to yet, so I'm guessing I'll commit the Ligma here, especially into Con Man. We'll just front it with Ligma. Have you ever considered playing VR games? I'm thinking about it. It seems like the technology has a really long way to go. <laughs> My girlfriend's also worried that if I play VR games, I'm gonna get too addicted to them. Like, I play very, like, I play Overwatch, which is a very immersive game, especially if you're playing with a headset. And it just is, like, it's very, very overstimulating. Uh, is having extra brains this turn better? I want to play around, like, uh, Imp Throwing Imp. 
So I'm not gonna play something Think on the ground. Think of a star fruit as a control card. Your opponent is to stop what they are doing and deal with it, or they die. Yeah, the problem is, is that it, they only usually need to commit one brain and one very small card in order to deal with it. That's why, um, that's the problem with Starfruit. It's very, you know, if you're playing against a guy who just commits five drops on turn five anyway, I guess we're ramping in this deck, but still, if they're just playing dry zombies, you basically win that zombie player no matter what. Almost every zombie deck where you're just spamming and not playing reactively is bad. Which might be something to think about when it comes to pirates, why barrel pirates, let's say. Maybe a lot better than, um... Maybe a lot better than, like, regular sugar retreat pirates, because you can play more reactively. How annoying is Brainanda to go against on a scale of 1 to 10? I I'm gonna say, like, 10. It's a re it, the only reason I don't hate Brainana is because no one uses it. I'm the only one who uses it. Like, I I'll play Brainana in every Smarty deck, literally. <laughs> and I'll, I'll see a Brainana played by an opponent, like, I don't know, maybe twice a month. But it's a it's a it's it's a terrible but it's a terrible leave. It's not a good card. And it just breaks a lot of fun cards in the game like Baboon Rising, like like Zombot stuff. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. There's obviously no teleporting barrels coming in. I'm gonna save the Weedwack. Freezes that. You know, chickening would be next turn. Let's see if this guy has chicken. I feel like we're wrecking this guy though. We have a lot of ramp. We got some good cards in the field. If he passes here, I'll just bring in. I gotta play around that chickening. Man. Like barrel now? Oh my god. Oh, hell no, man. Oh, hell no. Ow. I don't know. It's okay. Should I weed whack this? I think there's gonna be something better to weed whack with. You see Brain Anna a lot. So we have a couple superpowers. We've got a bunch of um, beanstalks in our deck. It's a very underrated part of Lima's. If you let this go, man, it is gonna. These li these th our deck has like. Eight stonks in it now? I don't even know how much. I haven't been keeping track. Yeah, this game is... This game, he just like waited and then did this combo. He went Berry Treasure Gizzard Lizard is so good. <laughs> it's honestly the perfect thing against what we had. What's that? Um, so this might be worth a goat. I feel like there's gonna still be a better goat later. I think I'm gonna weed whack. Wonder what I should do with this. I think it's okay here. Should I go to fight now? I could. I'm gonna block and get mod eventually and freeze. So those will answer a big menu. I think this is okay. Should I have go to fight this one and weed back to this one? That would have been smarter. Now that I think of it. <laughs> he would have had two one ones instead of a two two and a one one. So that guy just died. I don't really know what happened that game. 
Yeah, that sounds out there. I think we won. I'm gonna play this. It just makes it more likely. Again, if he has nothing and then beam me up, this lives. If he has just a bungee or just a summoning, this is just more likely to live this turn. Now. I think since he committed that, and he commits teleportation zombie, I'm, I'm the, well, we're obviously playing this now. Drone engineer, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we can kill the drone engineer basically for free here. He could have a beam me up. I think um, this dying getting superpowers, I think this is fine. If he rockets, it happens either way. This is going to be an engine. Not really sure why he's playing in lane 1. This usually goes in 4. Uh, if he has nothing. <laughs> if he has a free kick? No. Okay, well, we're still ramping. We have Brinana and we have... One, basically three cost cards that cost one. Two, two to three cost cards. That's what these represent. How much would it be to two, add two health and protect something that turn? That's a two cost card for sure. Am I right? Oh, this man's doing some, he doing some mustachios. He breaking my pistachios. Bruh. Um... Bring Nana in like two looks decent here. What else would be the play? We could Cobb. Kind of breaks our shizzle. We don't really want this dying. Bring Nana ain't bad. It means this dies next turn though, but it gets another superpower. Three and three ain't bad. Alright, let's do this play. And, uh,. We basically always have ramp. I think this is okay, right? Here? Because I'd rather the bird live. You know, when he plays just a two attack guy on this next turn, it means yeah. That was a great play. Wow, he had nothing to spend. You, you know, these problem with Mustache Waxer is that you gain all these extra brains. You need something to spend it on, and you're not always going to have, you know, extra fruitcakes and bungees and stuff. So now we're going to be ramping to like nine. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I got Beta Caratina, one of the worst superpowers in Easy Heroes history. This is probably a really good brain Nana. He's he's leaving five on the table. So let's let's commit this. We'll probably just play whatever we get in the water. That's a really cool black IP. We definitely want to kill this card. I'm gonna play this here. And we'll conjure another superpower. He just drains five brains. <laughs> He's committing so many cards into trying to whittle down this bird. It's not really working. Oh, uh, we still have our cop cam. I mean, that's the only thing we can really do is consume. Bird has been pretty good. I'm kind of glad you guys convinced me to put bird in this deck. <laughs> Off meta. He's an off meta card. <sighs> they just get so much value. Kind of like, kind of like Allosaurus, but a lot more RNG involved. I hate Beta Caratina superpower. This deck's doing doing pretty good. Uh, oof. I mean, we don't really need this. That's good. Uh, see, this is the matchup we really want, because Super Brains is one of the few heroes in this game that just does not have any way to, to do two damage. He has no Nibble, no Bungie, no Rolling Stone, or no nothing like that. It makes aggro very good into him, but th I think this is the truth right now. The cool thing about playing the Primal is that we're able to play this behind, because he does have an answer to this, which is beam me up, but now... I mean, unless he commits a guy, 
and then, like, super brain super. Really no way of dealing with that. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'll ramp too. Look, I got ramped. So in the meantime, I'm making six. He's making four. I don't think it's worth it. I'm no doctor, but I think this guy's dead. <laughs> what is he doing? Um... Yeah, I don't know. We'll do this to proc the block in case he teleports in a minion, but teleporting in something and killing the Starford is not the way to deal with it. Alright, he's still ramping, guys. Yes, keep ramping. Play another cryo brain. <laughs> oh no. It's a freeze deck, guys. He's got frozen mustache and cryo brain. Well, sad Starford. I guess it gets answered by that, because it gets all of its value out of attacking. Because that's another problem with Starford. It's not like if you freeze Burb, it doesn't matter. We're still conjuring the superpowers. Need <laughs> another. It's ramp to wizard and insta concede. That's the strategy. All right. Well, we're six and now. How many people voted yes for this day? Seventy-one percent. Is that right? Ooh. Shut up and take my money. He's got a one-way ticket to value town. Chad said try never. <laughs> Thank you, infectious snick. For the five dollars. One way ticket to value. Oh, is that one of the phrases Chat GPT thought that I said? <laughs> I think it is. Uh we'll keep this into infinity. It's usually a very good card into his. Spammy, spammy. I wonder if I go this. I think to slow. We have plenty of ant late game answers, and I think slowing his early game down. It turns it into two bullseye per turn, into one non bullseye, which will give me my next superpower. Again, I don't like mogging one drops, but in this situation, where we're gonna be we're gonna be coming from behind, we really don't want to take that much damage. I think this is right. So it's just good dance floor. Um, so that's a really good way to commit the twin. Does everyone just concede? How many were concedes were there today? I'll reward the prize. So this is awesome. Again, I get fruit cake, but... Uh, where does this go? Like, Sugary Treat would answer it here. Alright, I'll play on Sugary Treat. It's really sad, the sugary chain there, I forget. It's okay. That just gives us more card advantage. Captain Jukember. No way! So he has the perfect answer, we actually, it kills our red. Uh, I'm glad I have the heals. It's pretty good. We do one. I think if he passes, I'll commit the Cucumber, and if if he plays at least one minion, I'll do the heal. That doesn't count as a minion. Uh, Cucumber should be decent here. He can't have deadly superpower, so this is pretty safe. He's doing a lot of damage, though. Hopefully the Captain Cucumber will give us something cheap that can sustain us. Even, like, poppin' puppies would be pretty cool. That is not cheap, though. Really happy we have heals, because we are... Just dying here. Not a good card. Okay, we can chump block. We're, we're gonna use this defensively here. Gosh. Holy yushka. I'm actually just gonna put this here because every point of damage really matters right now. Really nice to be have eight. We can also get a superpower that deals with the three one here, so that's really good. That's okay. Yeah, chump blocking this is now really good. We should be able to kill this. Uh, mogging for... Should I save this for like a cowboy? Uh, you know. Oh, I forgot we're taking three more. Whoops, oh, I should have done it. Oh, no, wait. No, that was the overshoot. Never mind. We still have five. Why are we getting wall of bowlings from the cat and cucumber though? This is ridiculous. Okay, the good news is we got more heals. 
much, much needed heals. I'm just saving Transmogrify for a cowboy. A cowboy would put us away here if I mogged this. Is Brinana even good here now? Brinana loses. So it's gotta be like... Well... This is a 4-4. Four, four. This jump block. Back up to 8. Still got 2 tricks. So he's doing... He's doing 6 this time. Captain Cucumber, give us one good card. That is not that's not it. Ain't it. Oh man, this this environment's gonna just put us away here. This is really bad. There's Cobb Cannon. I I think it's too slow. I wish I had one of those team ups left. But there's no way of dealing with this. There's no, we can't mog this one. Makes sense. Yeah, Captain Cucumber not getting it done. Uh, we're gonna have to just roll a three. Hopefully, get a one health minion here. We'll have to see it. I think if we roll a three, we're actually okay in this game. Talk about useless, man. There's Bungie to face. So, yeah. Yeah, the last superpower was free, so that was game too big fun. Hero theme tier list. I don't know if I'm gonna do a tier list on aesthetics or... Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, the game just crashed in the middle of the last game, so we'll do another one here. You'll see. <laughs> they played Hot Dog and then the game just crashed. Come on, Corp. That's turning into a meme instantaneously. Corp crashed the game. Uh, this is pretty good. This two late game cards will get one. Oh, that's a really good hand. Thank you, Spiritan26. Really appreciate it. PHGs. This is gonna be rough, but you know, I think ramp will be pretty good into spamming space times and whatever else they do on turn two. Again, this is huge giganticus and not a ton of removal, which is the good news. This is pretty safe. He could barrel barrels, but you know, that'll slow him down enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll post this stream on YouTube. It's went really well. So he's getting like a four drop on turn three. Uh, active ability, really good. Um, the good news for us though is that we got we have go to fight, so we can automatically negate this ramp. I really wish it didn't draw him a card though. It's so annoying. Like if you're gonna HG super, at least like try to play your cards and run out. But no, he just gets more card draw. But God damn it, Pogo! Wait, does it, do we, oh, we ramped already. It went from left to right, oh my gosh. Pretty sure if the pogo was on the left and these cards were on the right, we would not have ramped there. So that was nutty. Uh, the good news is the opponent only has now three brains, two brains now. I mean, it's the last game. I got a star for it here, right? <laughs> what is he? He's gonna leap maybe. I really wish there was a way to keep the ramp alive, but we'll make five naturally next turn anyway, right? No, we won't. Making four. Am I stupid? He's just leaping, yeah. Please don't get something stupid, please, 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 that's fine. All right, so this does very little here. We're doing eight. Ridiculous. I'll probably just go with this and then protect the star fruit for an extra turn. Good go. What would he be running in this deck? What have we seen? It's probably like... Oh, it can't be Teleportation Zombie. It might be Pogo. 
Uh, we mug those. And I'll just set some more ramp up. Oh yeah, sorry, I turned down the... <laughs> I turned down the volume from the game because the game started buzzing really hard when the game crashed. That's good, so you can freeze this, but it stays alive. Four costs yet. I'm thinking Pogo is the worst case near you. No, it's turn four. This fool has Yeti. Come on. Bogo turns into a one drop. Feels bad, man. Uh, it's probably second Yeti. This is pretty good into Yeti. No, no bounce of plant. Wow, is this the star fruit? We're gonna block here. Why would he not bounce the bird? Uh, oh, well, he does the five, of course. Glug. Uh, we gotta mug that. Uh, <laughs> Conman. We have, like, double ketchup mechanic here. The Conman is ripping us to shreds, actually. That's so annoying. This does, like, some shit right now. It's gonna be double ketchup. No, no, ketchup just die. I think we lose this game. That's so annoying. So energy drink is in one. We're cheating. Conman in two. Mix up grave digger ends up in the environment and Pogo stays in four. Oh, he's gonna Pogo us. Uh, cheating is actually paying off. We can put two minions here. Oh, whoops. This is gonna go in front. Whoops! <laughs> I thought it would go in front! Uh, Pogo is here. What was the first card again? Oh, it was Energy Drink Zombie. That'll stay. Alright. Does he win, though? He does two, two, and two. Yeah, we lose anyway. It doesn't matter. Alright, I'll play one more, not to end on this loss. That was a sad game. It's just you, Gigantic, it's getting too much value from the Super Animal. Like, it happens. Uh, he... Did not do the right thing. He actually had lethal. Wow, we could actually come in back into this game. The play was Bounce Twin Sunflower, obviously. Because then it would have been guaranteed lethal. But now, we got catching mechanics. There's Shark. Ugh. If I had another twin sunflower, I could have done some wacky, wacky stuff here instead of this misplay I made. We probably just heal for eight. Kind of sad not to utilize all this, though. These also just die. I think we'll just take the help. Since we're so close to dying here. I mean, what if I, what if I cop? What if I cop? Let me kill this, this goes here, this goes face, no, it works. There. Is a 5-5 five, five worth more than that twin sunflower? I just feel like we're moving the 7 drop next turn. The shark gets tons of value. Hopefully it doesn't have a play, it gets rocket. Goes face for zero instead of for three. Yeah, I don't really get this guy's logic. I really wish I had that twin sunflower back though. That would have been amazing. Really? <laughs> okay, he wins. Never mind. Ow. Uh, yeah, that's definitely legal. <laughs> now we're six and two. Where, where did he get this from? Oh, yeah, that's what he got from his HG superpower. It is carried. <laughs> I'm supposed to do. Why does Energy Drink Zombie not activate, but Gentleman's does? So when. Energy drink comes out of a gravestone. It doesn't. Its ability does not activate. Are you sure? 
No, it did. It turned into a 3 3. It grew. It just couldn't move. Alright, last game. For real this time. Thank God, I'm hungry. It's 10.40 at night, still have not eaten supper. That's pretty good. Again, he could have rolling... He, usually he'll rolling stone this. It's nice to just test for rolling stuff. What is this guy's logic? He top decked that? He was saving it for Twin Sunflower? He's a million IQ if he saved that for Twin Sunflower. We got nothing here, though. Nothing. We cannot mog that. So good against your ass. Go violating. California rolls? Can you just get blow? Blow's gonna hurt later. Can we get a playable mill? No! Well, we're gonna lose because we just bricked, man. Look at this hand. Even if we could mog lane one, that would help, but. Yeah. Energy does activate. Gentleman doesn't activate when it comes out of a gravestone? Wait, if you put Gentleman back into a gravestone, it pops so it does not? It's crazy. I don't know. Let's hope it's Line Dancing Zombie. Nope. What was this game? This game was just brick. What am I supposed to do here? Frustrating. Can I get weed whack? Thank you. I don't know about this, man. We're down to one. Uh, there's not really a whole lot that saves this here. He'll play around the starfruit. Well, if he plays one big card, we can mog starfruit. But no, I mean, this will almost always answer us, right? No. Did you not have anything, please? <laughs> what was this game? It's bricked, man. <sighs> Alright, one more. <laughs> Like we're doing ten games today. It's Rust Ball, this will be easy. <laughs> Pulling out the cop for some reason, I don't know why. La, 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 la. Go for the seven and three. Yeah, no, we won six straight and lost three straight. It's rough. Teams are anyway going a lot shorter than expected, so we got time. This guy's name is Garlock. Reminds me of the. Garlock. Oh, sounds like an orc. <laughs> Could you not kill this place? It has almost no chance of surviving. Maybe it just says healthy treat. Maybe it just says cryo brain. Oh, that went pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Top deck of five drop. Such luck. You think he has weed spray? <laughs> Probably does. And we're throwing. Probably just going viral. Teleport. Paparazzi going viral. Oh no. 
Ugh, no. Uh, wow, no frenzy though. No going viral, please, please, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Yes. At least Rotovega lifts. And at least our ramp lifts. That's a pretty good phrase. It's a twin sunflower alive. And yeah. We're rolling here. We're making like 3,000 sun this turn. By that I mean 8, but. This Cobb Cannon hits pretty hard. I think Cobb and 2 is the play. If he plays another card, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. But we'll go with this and be able to kill the paparazzi for free here. Oh, 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 this hurts, man. This hits hard. He could get chopped, but I think I'd rather proc a block and roll the dice there. We got this guy. We also have another cop cannon coming up, which is kind of devastating. That's why we don't really need to keep the... Keep the go. We have to get rid of that paparazzi before I get too much value from it. Can you not get chopped? Wow, Jesus. <laughs> we also have a whole bunch of magic beanstalks in our deck now. And by that I mean four. It's pretty good. Five, because we use free. La 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 la. This two damage probably doesn't matter that much. Um. I'm just trying to think, should we go for a cop cannon or... I mean, maybe having lanes clogged is worth... Okay, we'll go for lanes clogged so he doesn't box us up. I don't know what this guy's gonna do. The man is just drawing cards. Drawing dead is what he's doing. Well, I should have gone face for the four. Will this man draw into a miracle? Is the real question. We could roll a one anyway. Oh, that's awesome. No, we can't. Never mind. I thought the bird was in five for a second. I don't know why I'm dumb. Like, Mustache Monument Trickster would win the game for him. Uh, if he gets really lucky. Let it blow, let it blow. We gotta clog every lane. We gotta play around teleporting some creepy shit in. I think we got this one, though. Okay. Uh, Brain Free Super for starters. And Chop into Trickster. Something like that. <laughs> no. He got bad superpowers. Alright. Now we're seven. Now we can end the game. Yeah, we go. Alright, guys. That is going to be all for the shoot for the star. It was okay. It was okay. Uh, well, maybe we'll find some other uses for starfruit. The birds were really fun, though. I really love running bird in my ramp rose decks. So good to get it, because even if they kill your ramp, you have turn three, you have a bird, just in the water, it's safe. It's just conjuring cheap superpowers. It, like, always gives you a next turn, even if they kill your ramp. It's, you have four sun now, and you just play whatever, plus the superpower is strong. Alright guys, that is going to be all for the shooting for the star deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I most certainly did. See you in the next one. Peace. This is Try.